Good morning, good morning. Melissa from Sagebrush Wellness here. And I am so, so happy to be able to share this interview with you today. We're gonna to be talking with Stephanie. Um, she's my go-to girl for chemical free cleaning products. And one of the reasons this is so important, as you know, working with autoimmune people, um, one of the things that is important for us is to get the toxins that are coming in from the things that we use, like cleaning products, our hands are in it, right? And then being able to really keep surfaces and, you know, our world around us clean, right? Um, and I really love how Stephanie has chosen to do this using some really great products. So I'm going to just let her introduce herself. And as we're going through this talk, I want you to feel free to put comments below the video and I'll be watching this thread. We'll do our best to answer your questions as we go. So Stephanie, tell people who you are, what you do. Hi, my name is Stephanie Strutters. I'm an independent Norwex consultant. I've only been a consultant for a couple of months, but these products really have changed the, my life and the lives of my family. You know, with the pandemic and everything and everybody was really worried about it all. I was not worried, I was prepared. And um, it really love it. passion to share others because really Norex is only in 3% of the homes, which is like mind boggling to me. <laughs> like why are so many people still using harmful chemicals? Why are you letting your kids use them and ingest them? And it's, I mean, honestly, I wish I would have used them when my kids were little. My kids, I have three boys and they are nine, seven and almost five. And they make messes from sun up to sundown but they also help me clean up the messes and i don't care if they clean up the messes we used to use clorox wipes like nothing my husband would hand them a wipe at the end of dinner and they would wipe the tables the chairs everything and i was like why did we do that like you can't your kids can't play in the chemicals they can play in the norwex right, right. it's safe for everybody so i love that i'm going to tell you guys about norwex and show you a bunch of awesome demos i will do my best to answer any questions you guys have um, and we'll, we'll go from there. We'll see how everybody likes it. So awesome. Norwex was founded in 1994. It was someone who realized that you can clean with microfiber and water. You heard me. I said water, no chemicals, water. So our line of microfiber just is amazing. It has little tiny particle or little tiny things that are one, two hundredth the size of a hair. So if you take your strand, one strand of hair, and you split it 200 ways, that's the size of the microfiber in our cloths. Wow. They're star shaped. So they like just suck all the stuff off. That's why you don't need the chemicals. It's not smearing it around, it's sucking it up. These wow. um, towels, most of them are infused with a backlock technology. The backlock technology has a silver agent in it. The silver agent is like known for like antibacterial properties. Mm -hmm. so, it will self clean as you start to use it. As soon as you activate it with water, it's cleaning this cloth. So that helps so you don't have the mildew, the mold, the, the growth of bacteria on your cloth. This is half of my cloth. <laughs> the stinky dishcloth. <laughs> yes, there is no stinky dishcloth. My, my mom, she, she's used it some, but she really wasn't a believer. And they just got back from vacation. They were in a camper for two weeks in Florida. It was in the 80s. They couldn't use their air conditioner the whole time, high humidity. And she had an Enviro scrubby cloth. And I'll show you it because I have it sitting here. It's an, an Enviro cloth on one side and it's a scrubby on the other. I use this in my sink too. She used it the whole time and it didn't stink. She's like, the kitchen never stank. I mean, that, that kitchen is their living room, their dining room, their everything. She, it didn't stink the whole time. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, See? it works. I so, love it. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's amazing. What's different about our microfiber compared to other people's? Can you buy a cleaning product anywhere else where you're going to get a two-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee? Well, if you do not like these products, which I don't know why you wouldn't like them, get your money back. <laughs> no problem back. But two mm -hmm. years, something happens to your cloth within reason. I mean, you have to follow the proper care and everything. You get your you get your warranty. You get your product replaced. It's, wow. It's amazing. So. I mean, I am a very firm believer in these products and I'm going to show you why. So this is our Enviro cloth. This puppy will clean anything. It is, it comes in a variety of colors. 
It also has the backlog technology. All of our cloths have this little tag on them too. So you always know what the cloth is, if it has backlog, anything. And I personally like it because when I'm done with the cloth, I use it to hang it to dry. So this is totally, I'm going to show you a couple different demos with it. The first time I'm going to show you is I'm taking a cutting board. I'm actually going to angle my camera down a little bit. I feel like I'm way up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to rub raw chicken on it. This is going to blow you guys' mind. Okay, so I'm rubbing my raw chicken all over my cutting board. And I'm going to actually do a little experiment while I'm here that I've never done before with it, but I'm a believer. So hopefully you guys are too. So you can't even <laughs> see that I rubbed the chicken all over it. I'm going to show you. This is a protein activation swab. It is going to show you that I did indeed put the protein of chicken on my cutting board. So I'm just wiping it. Now, there is a colored di diagram on the side. It turns purple when there's protein and it needs a second. I love that. So the geek in me is totally like, okay, <laughs> here we go, labs. <laughs> it's actually gonna get darker as it sits, but it turned it turned purple, it's not green. Can you uh -huh. see that? Uh-huh. So, and you can see that the little cool. on the chart, you can see that there is indeed protein on this. Mm -hmm. So on this top half, I'm going to use what every person would normally grab, a Clorox wipe. So did you guys know that right on this label of the Clorox wipes, it actually says you need to keep the surface wet for four minutes. And then if you're going to prepare food on it, then you need to wash it off before you prepare food on it. How many of you have, you have ever done that? I didn't do that before. I would just wipe uh -uh. it down and go. So right. I'm going to top part with a Clorox wipe. And the only reason why I actually have these Clorox wipes in my house is because the school asks for them. So the school is actually not getting this one because I'm using it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to wipe the top half with a Clorox wipe. And we're going to see if it really does clean it. But I'm not going to do it for four minutes because most people don't have time for that. So this half of it I cleaned with my Clorox wipe. This bottom part I'm going to just wipe with my Enviro cloth. Okay. Now I'm going to take... You can see it's really purple now. <laughs> yes, it is. I am going to take my new clean protein swab. And this bottom part is where my Enviro cloth was. And I'm going to break okay. it. It's going to be green. Immediately green. So Love now, it. let's just see what it does. Never done this before. So hopefully it does show something where my Clorox wipe was. Let's see if it actually is clean with the Clorox wipe. I have seen other consultants get a product called Glow Germ and they will use, oh my gosh, my swab tip is turning purple. Can you see that, Melissa? <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, my water didn't really change a lot. My tip of my swab is definitely purple where it was not green before. <laughs> okay, so maybe the Clorox wipe did work. But who's going to sit here for four minutes and then wash it off with water anyway, when I can easily just wipe it with Do that. water and go? Mm -hmm. If you don't think that I think this stuff is gone, I'm going to show you how much I like truly believe that it's gone. I like no. it. <laughs> totally. It. It's clean. We showed you it's clean. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me that there actually was protein on here? Here's my raw chicken and my green swab. Now the tip is totally purple. This water is gonna go <laughs> from green to purple. Probably in like two seconds. Can you see it changing? Mm-hmm. Purple. I mean, so so legit, cool. it took everything off my cutting board. Now, some people would think that that is totally gross to keep cleaning their kitchen, but you can clearly see that it is Okay, so if you don't want to use this side, then what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. you have eight cleaning surfaces if you fold it. You just flip it to a new surface and you keep cleaning. <laughs> I love that. It's it's easy. Mm -hmm. About another cloth that goes hand in hand with this. This is like peanut butter and this is the jelly to go with it. This is the window cloth. This I love, I love it. <laughs> it shines and polishes everything. It goes hand in hand with this Enviro cloth. If you got a dirty, dirty mirror from your kid's spitting toothpaste all over it, like I do on a daily basis, 
you wipe it off with that Enviro cloth or the Enviro Scarby. I keep that in my bathroom to wipe off the toothpaste chunks. And then you shine it with this and you don't have to worry about it again. There's no streaks, there's no window cleaners. You're not spraying stuff in the air that's getting all over your kids' toothbrushes that they've left everywhere. You're just using water. You can use this stamp if you want to, or you use it dry. This is also good for stoves, <coughs> anything. You can do your car windows. You can do anything that you wanna shine with this. I, a lot of times have been doing the kids' face shields because I don't know about you guys or where you're from, but here I am from Western Pennsylvania about an hour north of Pittsburgh, they are wearing masks and face shields to school. So at the end of the day, when they hand them to me, I easily just wipe them off with my Enviro in my window. And then if they go to school and they are licking them because they are bored, they're not licking a Clorox chemical, a any kind of harmful chemical. It is clean water that they are. And it's clean because I just showed you with the raw chicken demonstration. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you another demonstration <laughs> because I okay. love I have a mirror. <laughs> I'm not, okay. I'm, not there, I'm sorry. And I'm going to smear butter on it. And you're going to be amazed okay. how easy and it just takes it off. Okay. So do you think that this is going to smear it or do you really think it's going to take it off? I don't know. It, it's going to take it off. So oh I'm my goodness. It is so it greasy. How is it going to take it all the way off? It's all the way off. I'm telling you. So I took it off and you can see it's clean. It has a little bit of wet, wetness on it because of course it was wet. So now I'm taking my window cloth and I just wiped it off and it's a shiny clean mirror. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Yeah, so I mean, it really does oh, wow. and hold in all of the stuff, all of the dirt and it makes it go oh away goodness. when you shine it. It's, it's crazy, it's just water and cloth. Water. That is so crazy because there should have been smears and stuff from the grease. Right. And there was, there was nothing. That's amazing. My butter is a little bit soft. So it, I mean, it is runny because it's been sitting down on the table for a little bit mm -hmm. and it's still the grease and oil from it is just gone. There is nothing, gone. there's nothing on this mirror anymore. It's completely clean. So, you know, all that toothpaste gunk, <laughs> it can be dried on for two weeks. I love it. It's still going to come off with water, with the Enviro. Oh my goodness. And the window cloth. So these two I love it. hand in hand, window and Enviro mm -hmm. cloth. The Enviro cloth, I'm gonna open it up for love you. Love it. This is a lot bigger. Oh, it's pretty. I actually won this for hosting a party last month. They actually are really good to people who want to host parties and earn their own Norwex. And um, so you can either fold this or bunch it. I it, Sometimes I do both. I don't have a preferred way, but they are amazing together. Most people, this is what they start out with because you can do anything okay. with this. And this shines. Now, okay, that took care of, I cleaned my kitchen, I cleaned my bathroom. What is one thing, Melissa, that you think most homes have that they don't clean very easily or well, that just kind of flies around when you clean it? Dust. Dust, yep, you got it. No Rex <laughs> mate. I just let it stay. <laughs> a dust mix. I just let it, me, me too sometimes. I make sure I make it a game with the kids. Someone right. suggested the other day if I had more than one of these, if I paid the kids a dollar to see in 10 minutes who had the dirtiest dust cloth, they would get a dollar. I'm so trying. Oh, cool. Well, the dust mitt. <laughs> you can use it wet or dry. Now, if you're going to okay. use dry, you need to statically charge it. You're static, electrically statically charging these particles in here, and it's going to make the dust just stick like a magnet to it. Stick. You're not just smearing it around. It's not going to fling everywhere when you, you know, your kids have a dust mitt fight with it. It's gonna stick to the glove. <laughs> oh, I can so it. tell you have boys. <laughs> <laughs> it, you can oh. use it with these finger pinched and clean your mini mm -hmm. blinds. And it cleans both sides if you just pinch it and keep going up and down. A lot of people actually do buy more than one of these and they'll use both hands. And then when one hand gets dirty, you just take it off and you switch it to the other side switch and it. those sides are still clean. Mm -hmm. so Static these, you can rub your fingers through it, or you can use the Norwex rubber brush, which is across the table, folks, because you don't need it. The Norwex rubber brush, and it has multiple functions of use too. If you have dogs, this is a necessity in your house. This will get dog hair off of your furniture, off of your carpet, off of your clothes, anything. Rubber brush. It's amazing. So let's give you guys a little demonstration with this dust mitt, because I love demos. So I'm just gonna use the rubber brush because it's sitting here in front of me. 
So you can kind of see there's a little bit of lines in it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this tray and I'm gonna spread some cornstarch on it just because it's easy to show. Another great thing for people who like to go on vacations to the beach with dust mitt, if you've got sand on you, we'll just remove it and you won't have it in your car. Just, it's so easy. That is just, so crazy. And it's gone and then you just brush it off. If you get a lot of dirt and debris, you just brush it off at the end and it's mm -hmm. done. Okay, I don't remember which side I said it's like charged now. So I better just do it again. <laughs> I like put the cloth down. Right. So I put some cornstarch on this. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. With one sleeping motion, it's pretty much all gone. It's just clumped now. Oh, that is so crazy. It just trapped you it right in there. Brush it off in the in the trash can. Yeah. Then you just take this. I'm gonna do it right over my thing where I had it. And you just brush it off. And it's good to go. And you're done. And you're done. Now, I talked about using this dry. Do you think we can use it wet? I'm thinking yes. <laughs> what do you think you would use it for wet? Oh, I have no idea. Um, how, probably how hard is it for you when stuff. you're cleaning your windows to clean your window screens? Oh, it that's a terrible job. Leave your window screens in, wet this, and wipe. And it cleans both sides. Oh my goodness, right between, that is cool. And you, I mean, you're probably going to take the screens out anyway to wash the bottom part of the window or the top part, wherever your screen is. But yeah. it's just so easy. You're not taking that outside and spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying them. You're just wiping them and off. And it's still streaked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And anybody right? who's interested, like I have so many before and afters of different things here. Like we have a furnace in our mm -hmm. living room, like a little heater that blows. And mm -hmm. it's been here for yeah. years. And it died <clears throat> last year. And because of COVID, the repairman could not come and do it. Well, when he came to do it oh. at the beginning of, of winter, he took it all apart and I got my dustman out and I cleaned it. And he was just like looking at me like I was crazy. And it had a screen in it. And that screen probably hadn't been cleaned in probably 20 years. And like, I was going like, probably. I just wet my cloth and just did it. And he was like, what, what did you just do? <laughs> I just cleaned it. I don't want it. I to love that. Stuff on it. Yeah. It was super easy. Super yeah. nice. Okay. So, so far we've talked about the window, the dust and the enviro, which I've lost already. Here it is. So these three do come in a package, just them. It's a household package. I like packages. Okay. Packages are a bundle deal. You get them cheaper than buying them individually. So why wouldn't you get the peanut butter jelly? And we'll just call this the bread. It just all three. To go there you go. Mm -hmm. I'm not done with my demos yet. There's still more. Can you believe it? <laughs> I love this. Okay. Because one of the, you know, you're not buying things all the time. All you need is the cloth and water. That just blows right. my mind. And you're, you're like taking like how many different things you don't need wipes, Windex. You, don't need spray. you don't need Windex, you don't need dust spray, you don't need bathroom cleaner, you don't need any of this. You can use all this stuff on your bathroom. If you do think you need a little bit more of a heavier cleaner, we have an enzyme line and we do have a bathroom cleaner. These are, okay. these are mini bottles. They're really not this size. These are things that I've acquired for mm -hmm. I mean, and stuff. So we have a bathroom cleaner. This is another favorite in the bathroom, the mattress cleaner. And you would be like, why are we using mattress cleaner in the bathroom? Because it's enzyme based. It will get urine smell out. So all the boys that are peeing everywhere, this stuff <laughs> will that smell and get rid of it. <laughs> if you're potty training, if you have kids that have peed the mm -hmm. bed and have stains on it, it doesn't matter how long them stains uh, are. Mattress cleaner and your enviro cloth, and it's gone. It's like magic. And these are all safe oh. because the enzymes just break everything down. It's not a harmful mm -hmm. chemical. So let's see what else we have. Love it. An odor one. So Febreze, people that love that Febreze smell, odor cleaner. It comes in a couple of different scents. Odor eliminator, sorry. And you just spray it. You're not worried about mm -hmm. that aerosol spray, whatever. Right. The enzyme is the produce wash. And while I have this out, I'm going to show you. I bought grapes for the kids yesterday. And I put them in this little bowl of water and soak them up to the bottom. So I'm going to show you how clean they are. I'm actually just going to take a couple of my hands. Okay. I'm going to put them on my own biro because they're dripping. So can you see how the color is on those? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Okay. Here are the ones I didn't wash. Oh my goodness. 
That's why crazy. I never thought to wash things off besides with water. I don't know. The water color that I had these washed in is a little changed, but I've seen mm -hmm. it dirt brown. Like, especially oh my with, like, goodness. strawberries, blueberries, mm -hmm. those things. But yeah. look, the color difference. look how much more appealing these are. My kids are going to really want to eat these instead of these. So right. I'm going to put these back in my little colander and put them in the wash. And it's just amazing. You just spray it a couple times or you dilute it with a little bit of water and it's, it's cleaning them off. It's, it's mind blowing to me that cool. we're ingesting so many chemicals into our bodies. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's crazy. That's a big deal. That's yeah. a really big deal. Yeah. Okay. I've got a couple more, a couple more things that go hand in hand because you want your, your houses to be safe. And all right. the products that I'm demonstrating with are, they equal a bigger package called the safe haven. And there's five of them. Okay. So let me do, do the last two. Norx has a cleaning paste. This is like elbow grease in a jar. You can get hard water stains off your bathtubs. You can clean. Ooh, stuff nice. Um, there is another enzyme product called a descaler that does good in the showers too, you know, just for like the water and stuff, but like rust stains, we have hard water. Those rust stains are horrible. Yeah, we do too. If you have glass top, top stoves, this stuff will help get like that dried off food and stuff like that. It's just, mm -hmm. it's, it's called the elbow grease in the jar. I've used this to clean like summertime. You have your favorite pair of shoes and they're super bright and white and you love them. This will make them back to white. It just restores oh, that them. That is so awesome. A little bit. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I've been using, oop, I just dumped a little bit out. I've been using this paste for a couple of months now and you can't even tell that I've used any of it. Because oh my just, goodness. Yeah, it, it goes You don't need way. much. No. Mm -hmm. So I have this tile and I'm going to draw you guys a smiley face. Smiley. And I'm going to take my Enviro cloth. See, multi purpose. Back to my Enviro cloth again. <laughs> I am just going to go over this paste lightly, like two or three times. Three times. You can see I have a little bit of white on it. This is just going to go with little effort. It's gone. That is so cool. Now, if you're going to use it on a, something like a piece of furniture or your wall that your kids drew all over, we definitely recommend that you try it in a spot that is not front and center. Hello, just in case it discolors it. <laughs> um, right. But, We've had <clears throat> on our wall, and honestly, I just use the Enviro cloth. Like Logan's room, he's our four-year-old. We went up there one day. We're like, "What happened to your wall?" And it just smiley faces and scribbles. And, <laughs> and I just took wet my Enviro cloth, and none of these cloths need to be dripping wet at all. Just wrung out. Mm -hmm. And in between yeah. use, wring them out in hot water. It's, it's super easy. You wring them out, and you walk, you hang them up to dry. You're not going to launder them every time. But we do have laundry detergent too. And this laundry detergent is not just laundry detergent. This is the last thing that's in the safe haven five. And I'm still not done with my demos after this. There's just <laughs> so many great things with Norwex. So this laundry detergent, how long would you say this bag of laundry detergent is gonna last? Oh, that is tiny. I have no idea. Like three washes. Six months. Oh my goodness. You must need like a teaspoon. A teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half with a high efficiency washing machine, and it'll give you 205 ish loads. Oh my goodness. It's 10 times more that is totally awesome. than the normal laundry detergent. And when I say this is not just a laundry detergent, though, you can use this as a multi purpose cleaner if you put it in a spray water with water. You know, some people okay. just feel like they need to have something besides water. This stuff is safe, it's super easy to use. You know, people that love, love makeup, you always have dirty makeup brushes. A pinch right. of this in some water, just a pinch, will clean your makeup brushes are brand new. I mean, I love amazing. that. It is USA. How does it do for blue jeans with like grass and mud stains? Oh, because of the concentration, it takes the stains out pretty easily. You can create a little paste with it. We do have a laundry booster though, too, that does help with a little bit more. I mean, my kids, their stuff's always stained and it basically comes clean. Sometimes I do right. have to do a little bit of extra stuff, but mm -hmm. it's, it's just amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. And it, it, it is fragrance free. 
There has been times mm-hmm. where it's come in a lavender scent as well. I think it still is in the lavender scent, but I mean, it's just amazing. You can also use it with any temperature water. Like those of you that love hot, those that you love cold, it doesn't matter. It's still all the same. Awesome. Yeah. It still works the same weather. How's it do with like greasy jeans? Like when they come in from working in the garage, how's it do for grease? We don't have a lot of greasy stuff here, but we do have okay. a product with it that's a degreaser that you can pre-treat okay. with that and this. And it, okay. I've heard that it takes it off. I mean, okay. everybody's different in their grease level. I know your boys are probably grease buckets. When they They're turning into grease monkeys. So that was why I asked. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I personally don't have experience with that, but I mm-hmm. heard that people will pre-treat with the degreaser in this and let okay. it sit mm-hmm. like in super hot water overnight and then just throw mm-hmm. everything in and rinse it. Now, nice. all of our sauce, we do recommend that you use this with. You don't have to, as long as it's a fragrance or not a fragrance free, a, I'm losing my, my words. I can't think of what I was going to say. As long as it's not a harsh laundry detergent, let's just say that. Okay. And, mm-hmm. and it doesn't have like bleaches in it. You're not allowed to use bleach. You're not allowed to use fabric softener with the cloths. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your your warranty. So you can wash them with anything. Like I honestly do not separate my Norwex out. I do too much laundry to worry about doing an extra load of just (laughs) Norwex. With these kids, they change their clothes Mm -hmm. every single day. Between school, we live on a farm, just playing outside. Mm -hmm. Like I just can't. So I legit throw it in. Don't use any fabric softener or bleach. And when I'm done, I throw them in the dryer. You can dry them with everything. There you you just do not use dryer sheets. We actually have right. dryer balls, wool dryer balls that help reduce static and dry your clothes with so no dryer sheets. So you don't have to go to extra expense just to wash these if you don't want to. You can use, you right. know, your normal laundry detergent and stuff like that with them. It makes it super easy. You know, it's just one more cool. step that you maybe don't want to take. That's your call, but you will fall in love with right. every single one of these products. So let me tell you again, the safe haven five <clears throat> Love my packages is this laundry detergent, the cleaning paste, the peanut butter, jelly, and the bread, the Enviro, the window, and the dust mitt safe haven five. If you want your house to turn safe, these are like the top five products that I would recommend. Awesome. But there's awesome. still more, there's still more ways to help you keep your house clean and safe. What's one part of our house we haven't cleaned yet? You walk on it. The floor. Oh, the floor, carpet. The carpet. <clears throat> you can use this laundry detergent as a carpet stain cleaner. You can put it in a carpet cleaner with diluted water. Oh my goodness. People I have- need some of that right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know our that's called that. winter in Montana. <laughs> Winter in Western Pennsylvania. We Mud. had the like spring, the pre-spring season this last couple yes. days. It was in the 60s yep. and it's going to be raining today and then it's going to be in the oh. 30s next week. So like we legit have one area in our porch that is all cement and it has a rug. Like that's like the catch spot. And I don't care what happens to that rug because at the end of the season, it is getting thrown away. It is a cheap rug. I do not, with kids and boys and my father-in-law, yeah. my father, there is too much dirt in it. Yeah. So I just found a random grape on my other side. Here is our mop system. It comes with a telescoping pole. And there are two mop systems. If you are somebody that does not have a big space of hardwoods or laminate or anything like that, there is a smaller size and a bigger size. So this is the bigger mop. This is the smaller mop. And these this are is a smaller one. These are two different dry pads. They both do the same thing. This one might be a little bit better for dog hair and stuff like that. This is called a Ch- the Chanel mop pad. And it has these like finger-like things. Mm-hmm. A hand towel that is just like these. These little fingers are great for kids, like for drying hands. So the Chanel hand towel, it hangs in our bathroom because it, with the backlog, will grab the germs and stuff that the kids didn't get from washing their hands properly. So, I mean, like my husband's like, you're crazy. You have this stuff everywhere. But why wouldn't I have it there? If it's going to help clean the kids' hands and stop the spread of germs and everything else, it's like, hello. So for the dry pads, you're going to statically charge them just like the dust mitt. And it'll pick up any crumbs or anything. Now, when you're done, you have all these dirty particles on here. You're going to take it over to the garbage can and you're going to clean it with a rubber brush. It's just going to 
wipe right off into the garbage can. And it's crazy. Nice. Yeah. So this is the, the big mop. I wanna show you something cool about this. If you look at the base of it, you can kind of see this sides are bigger. Can you see? Let me move it over a little bit. So when I do my floor in my kitchen, I leave it like this. Why do okay. you have extra overlap? Any, any idea? So it can go up the baseboards. Yes. So it's cleaning <laughs> underneath your cabinets and your baseboards, catching all of those spider webs and everything else that comes that the kids have shoved underneath there because they didn't want to deal with. It's cleaning it at the same time. The mop pad that goes on this, it is the same thing. You center it off center and it will wash the baseboards. You can use this wet pad to wash walls, to wash anything. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So I just run this under water and then I turn it over and I wring it out. It does not have to be dripping wet. Mm -hmm. It has the backlock technology in it, just like that Enviro cloth that I showed you. So mm -hmm. you could drop raw chicken on your floor and just go get this real quick, wet it and wipe it up and keep going. You're not getting all the floor cleaners, all the other stuff. A lot of people do have problems when they start using this mop system because their floors get sticky. Why do you think their floors get sticky? Any idea? I have no idea. Probably baked on grease. No, it's the chemicals. It's all the harsh chemical cleaners that everybody has been using in their homes that has to get oh, like wow. off by, by these cleaners sucking it all in. And oh my goodness. Yeah, it's crazy. And honestly, like I had um, a really nasty spot on my floor and I wanted to try it. So I sprayed some mix, Mr. Clean that I still had on it, just diluted a little bit. And my shoes were mm -hmm. sticky in that spot. I had to go back and get this and go over it again. <laughs> Why? Oh my goodness, that Why just my blows my mind. It, it, it right. is <clears throat> just water. And you can see like this is a little bit dirty because I use it so mm -hmm. much. This um, telescoping pool is really nice that it has. Let's see if I can get it to come off without standing on it. It has this little section here. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. so yeah. If you're mopping something and say a package is at the door. You don't have to leave, this is sticking to my carpet on my thing. You don't have to leave this sitting on the floor with your mat pad down. You can hang this on the side of your counter and it'll balance. And it'll- Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. It has this ball on the end. This ball on the end, if you have a spot that's hard, you turn this pole over and you use this ball to like scrape off that stuck on spot. Okay, yeah. Fine. It's amazing. There is so many different mop pads too. You can get a window mop pad that you can take this puppy outside telescope it out and do all your windows outside with it and it'll give it that oh my goodness shine mm -hmm. that you would get from using the window cloth now this pool has mm -hmm. multiple other functions too it doesn't just use go on the mop we actually have a thing called the enviro wand my kids fight over this they use this as a sword <laughs> do you right? understand why so it has yes. those <laughs> nubs on it and you statically charge mm -hmm. it one of my favorite things is it bends. So if you have ceiling fans or anything like that, that you- Oh, like, yes. This will just glide right over top. And with these fingers, it just sucks in the dirt. Um, my nine-year-old used this and he was shaking it all over the place. And the particles were really not falling out of it. I mean, there was some stuff that fell out of it because there was some big chunks on it the first time we did it because it had been a while since we did the fans. But <laughs> the in. so if anybody has the ceiling fan over their bed and that's always like a nasty one to clean because then you- mm -hmm. really your whole bed. This will help you not have to do that. And it has oh, wow. that comes with it, but you can take it off and you can put it on the mop handle, the telescoping mop handle. So if you have high peaks and anything, then this will easily go anywhere and do anything. Like my kids took turns and they went around the entire downstairs of our house, cleaning every nook and cranny. You can bend this and do it on the tops of your kitchen cabinets. If you have open kitchen cabinets at the top, nice. the mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. and there's so many functions with it. And then you're still not using the sprays or anything like that. It's trapping it in. You take it to the garbage, you brush it off, and you keep going. How amazing is that? I love it. I so love amazing. it. There's just so much. Like, do you feel overwhelmed yet with all the healthy cleaning you can do? <laughs> oh. It's crazy, right? I am I'm literally ticking off in my head how we can use these down at the resort and cleaning all those log, log houses. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy that people have used the duds mitt too on the outsides of their vinyl siding. They have, we have um, like a mold and mildew remover, or at least we did. Oh, sure uh -huh. did. And they would just use this wet and they would wipe in the, that green moldy, nasty stuff that grows on the side of most houses here in Pennsylvania, wipes right off. 
Oh, wow. It's That's crazy. awesome. Yeah. It's just breaking mm-hmm. everything down. I mean, it's crazy. I would, I have one more thing I want to show you because there's another big thing in people's houses that create a lot of waste. Can you think of something that creates a lot of waste? Just the garbage. <laughs> What's something you're going to use a lot of and put in the garbage? How about paper towels? Do you use a lot of paper towels? <laughs> some, people, some people do. Norwex makes yeah. a counter cloth, and it is a size of a single sheet paper towel. And this thing cool. will absorb a fourth of a cup of water. Like, gone. Oh, wow. It fills anything. Gone. It does come as a set of three, or you can get these cool houses in the house, and you kind of just lay the cloths over. It's oh, super fun. Easy. Farm to dry. So I keep that at my kitchen. Kids dry their hands off on that. it. Everything. There was one more farm I did now that I think about it, but I wanted to show you. When you're taking a bath, do you mm-hmm. use a lot of body wash, chemical cleaners, stuff like that, like to take stuff off? We sell a body cloth. This is actually my favorite Norwex product. And I almost forgot to show it to you. I just can't believe I almost <laughs> forgot. This is a multi-purpose cloth. Ladies, okay. those of you that love your shaving cream in the shower to shave your legs with, you can do it with just this cloth and water. And you don't get razor bumps, nothing. Because as a boy mom and cool. a busy mom, sometimes I don't have time to shave in my shower. I will just wet this, exfoliate my skin, and go. Like shaving, done. You don't have to use any soap with it. You can wash your face with it. It takes off makeup so that you don't have to use like hundreds of makeup wipes. Can you see that half of my face is a different color or no? Mm-hmm. Yep. It easily just takes it off. Now, you don't want it to be wet. Like this counter, this cloth has been sitting here probably for an hour wet. It's still damp. It's not dripping wet. Your mm-hmm. kids can use it instead of bath wash, body wash, anything. You can also use this cloth. Nice. If you don't like to wash your hair every day, it acts like a dry shampoo. If it's dry, it'll soak up the oils from your hair. Or if it's wet, like you can easily like just run it through your hair and style it and go. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is another one of my favorites. Like my kids use these to wash their faces. It helps with acne, like for bad teenage acne. You just wash your mm-hmm. face, you wring, wring it out and you hang it up. And it's, it's amazing. People keep these in their gym bags so they can freshen up their oh, body. Oh yeah. Shower, mm-hmm. at like a gym, because I don't even know if I don't go mm-hmm. to the gym. I do my workouts at home. Can you even shower in the gyms right now with coronavirus? I don't know. And this has the backlog talk, wow. backlog technology in it. So it doesn't stink. Like doesn't nice. Stink. Like say your boys, they've been out driving cattle all day. They're nasty, stinky, sweat, sweaty, covered. They could easily go into the bathroom and wash their face and their pits off with this and come to the dinner table smelling nice and fresh and clean. And all they did was wipe <laughs> themselves. They didn't even get a whole shower. Right. So that is so cool. For days. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> This was the last thing I wanted to show you because like legit is my favorite thing. Like my face has never been smoother, cleaner, and it's just simply water. It's, it's truly amazing. If I had to pick one product out of this whole thing, oh, I don't know, actually the Enviro, the window, and this are my favorites, but this one is my favorite in the bathroom. It's really changed my, Mm -hmm. my so I mean, there's stuff for everything, Whole skincare line for people that have sensitive skin. And actually, I think I read actually that our set, our skincare is gluten free. That would that be awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did see that. But so like, there's just so many amazing natural ways to take care of your body, to take care of your house, that you're not going to get exactly harmed with the chemicals. Because like I said before, right. Would you let your kid play with any of the cleaning supplies? Would you let your kid lick this jar of Clorox? No, your kid could lick this. And it wouldn't matter. They can play in it. Mm-hmm. They don't have to be laundered every day. They can be go like two, three weeks, whatever your preference is. They're not going to stink. So, I mean. That is so cool. Do you have any questions? Yes, I do have one. Okay. Um, so how do, what is the best way for people to get a hold of you? And uh, I, I'll put I your. Facebook um, page. I have a VIP okay. group that has all kinds of tutorials. You can Facebook message me, friend request me, anything. I mean, if you love these products, I would recommend, you know, reaching out to me. There is surely ways we can get people hooked up. 
if you feel in your heart that you really love these and you can't spend the money on them, I host parties and I do demonstrations just like this one, not as involved. This is a little bit more involved and you can actually earn stuff for free. So if people want that to cool. earn the stuff instead of buying the stuff, that is definitely an option, but I would definitely recommend trying the stuff because it's just so crazy. And I will um, put a link on, a, on the comment after the video, if anybody that wants to look at okay, the catalog good. and you can look through the catalog, if there's something specific you're looking for and you don't find it, message me. I um, do work part-time, but my phone's usually around me in the evenings and most of the time. So I'm, I'm pretty available to answer questions. So no question's a dumb question. You only learn from asking questions. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you ever so much for sharing all of this. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's, it's truly a mind boggling experience and it is truly mm -hmm. the best decision I ever made for my whole family. I love that. I love that. Why, why was I putting all these harmful chemicals to my kids and to my family, to, to everybody? Like, why? Right. Like, right. It's crazy. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your passion i love that you're it just like you know this is I why don't sell norwex to make money i sell norwex because i believe in norwex exactly I even it i mean and, and really i love these that are environmental friendly too because they're actually a lot of them are made from 70 percent of them are made from recycled plastic so they're taking like they're that taking is so five cool five million plastic bottles out of recycling or garbage or whatever and they're making things to clean your house with so it's just not that is so fabric. crazy. It is actually love it. Yeah. I mean, so awesome. if you like the environment and you want your kids to have a nice, clean environment. I mean, it's a no brainer. There you go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. I appreciate everything. And we'll put the links in below the video here so that you have a way to contact Stephanie and ask questions or order stuff or whatever it is you want to do. They can so ask thanks so on much. The team too, correct? Right. They can ask and questions on the screen. Maybe we'll get to see your questions and get mm -hmm. answers too. Exactly. Exactly. So awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys have an amazing day. Take care. You too.